Hi, welcome to my second video. Now, bakit finding the domain na naman? Well, yun ang sabi ng bata, eh mahirap daw eh. E di i-video na yan. Okay? So, here in alamat ni Lolo, we don't do the ordinary. We do the extraordinary. Tinitingnan natin kung ano ang problema ng bata bago natin gawin. Okay? So, watch and learn. Okay, how do you find the domain of a function given the sum of two radicals? So first, we find the domain of each term, yung square root of x, and then square root of x minus 1, and then we get the intersection of the two domains, no? So how do we do that? Okay, first, square root of x, we know that negative numbers do not have square roots, hindi ba? So the only possible values for x are 0 and the positive numbers, and therefore, x must be equal or greater than 0. Okay? Now, for x minus 1, we do the same. x minus 1 must be equal or greater than 0. Or, x must be equal or greater than 1. Now, to get the intersection of these two domains, obviously, the intersection is x equal or greater than 1, no? Now, kung hindi nyo makita yon, we can do that by graphing. Okay? So, we plot the points on the number line. So, 0 is somewhere here. 1 is somewhere here. Now, x equal greater than 0 is from this point. Okay? Going to the right. Diba? Lahat ng numbers to the right ng 0 ay mas malaki sa kanya. Okay? Now, similarly for 1, we have from this point. Now, notice that I used the shaded circle. No? Because 0 and 1 are part of the solutions. Okay? Going to the right. Okay? Now, o oh, yan. Kitang-kita nyo naman no? kung saan nag-overlap yung ating, yung ating graph. No? Dito. Dito sila nag-overlap. Okay? And therefore, the solution set is x equal or greater than 1. So, how do you, uh, how do you write your domain? The domain is the set of all x such that x is equal or greater than 1. So, ganyan lang yan, no? We are done. Okay, next number. Uh, find the domain of h of x given square root of 4 minus x plus square root of x squared minus 1. So, again, negative numbers do not have square roots. Therefore, 4 minus x, okay, must be equal or greater than 0. Or, 4 is equal or greater than x, no? Tapos, balik tarin lang natin. x is equal or less than 4. Okay? Uh, similarly, for x squared minus 1, again, we set this to equal or greater than 0. Oh, now, notice that we are dealing here with quadratic inequalities, no? Now, this is a little bit complicated than this one kasi ito linear lang to. No? Lipat-lipat lang. Okay na. Now, for quadratic inequality, uh, we need to find the critical points, no? So, how do we find the critical points? First, by factoring x squared minus 1. That is equal to x plus 1 x minus 1 equal greater than 0. Now, by setting this to 0, doon natin makukuha yung critical points natin. No? Equal 0 muna siya. So, the critical points are the points x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0 or x equals negative 1 or x is equal to 1. Now, after getting the critical points, we plot them on the number line. Okay. So, negative 1 is somewhere here. And 1 here. So, uh, by plotting the, the critical points, notice that we, we can divide the regions into 3. No? Using negative 1 and 1 as boundaries. Okay. Ayan. So, this region is from negative 1, negative infinity to negative 1, 
negative 1 is part of the solution. This is negative 1, 1. And, oops, sorry. 1, 2, infinity. Okay? Nadidistract ako sa aso eh. Yung aso ng kapitbahay. Okay. Now, after getting the the, uh, the regions, no? After dividing into three regions, bakit natin dinivide? Kasi ang solution set nito uh, is either yung dalawang gilid, these two, or itong gitna, yung middle, no? Okay? So, itong dalawang to lagi magka-partner. This one, solo to, no? Okay? Now, how do you find the regions that will satisfy this inequality? You have to test a point, no? In each interval. So, for example, here, no? Uh, negative infinity, negative 1, so may negative 1 to. You can test the point negative 2 because negative 2 is within that interval, right? So, pwede nyo i-test yan, negative 2. Here, you can test the point 0 because 0 is within that interval. And here, you can test the point 2, okay? So, whichever point satisfies this inequality, this one, will be our solution set. Now, I'm not going to test the point anymore because that would be tedious and uh, time-consuming, no? I can give you the answer right away. How? Well, that is the alamat ni Lolo, no? Mami, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung sikreto, no? After this, uh, after this uh, number, no? Kaya panoorin nyo yung buong video para malaman nyo yung shortcut sa pag-solve ng quadratic inequality. Okay? Now, the solution sets are dalawang gilid, no? Yun ang solution set dito. So, the solution set are the points within negative infinity, negative 1, union, 1 to infinity. Yung dalawang gilid ang solution set natin because these two points will satisfy this inequality. You can try that if you want, no? Okay. So, in uh, solution set, okay, the domain is what? Set of all x such that x is equal or greater than negative 1 or x is equal or greater than 1. So, yan ang solution set natin. By the way, here, uh, on this side, ang domain natin, ayan na, no? Lagyan lang natin, ano? Set of all x such that x is equal or less than 4. Okay. Oh, now, what do we do next? We're going to find the intersection of these two domains, no? Okay? Lagi tayong ng number line. Okay? Lagi tayong ng uh, negative 1 here. Tapos, 1 dito. Tapos, dito ay 4. Okay? X equal less than 4 is well. Mula dito, going to the left, right? Kasi less than tayo, okay? Now, how about these two? X equal or greater than negative 1. Oops, sorry. Dapat less than to, sorry. Ooh, 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 ooh. It should be less than, okay? Sorry, sorry about this. It should be less than, okay? So, X equal or less than negative 1 is from here. Going to the left. O, hanggang dyan lang muna tayo para magsabay silang dalawa. Okay? And for x equal greater than 1 is from here. Going to the right. Ayan. Okay? O, now, siguro nakikita nyo na yung overlapping, di ba? The overlapping happens here. Okay? And here. O, di ba? Yan, ang overlapping ng graph natin. By the way, hanggang dito lang to ha? Kasi nag-stop na si Ford dito. Hanggang dito lang tayo. Ito papunta pa doon, no? Pero wala na tayong intersection dito, right? Hanggang dito lang si Ford, eh. Okay? I hope this is clear, no? So, these are the solution set, no? Or these are the domain of our function. So, paano natin susulat yon The domain. Oh, yan. Yeah, nawala na ako ng space, no? Pero kaya pa naman, no? Kering kering ni Lolo yan. Okay, so the domain is here, okay, the set of all x such that x is less than negative 1, diba, equal less than negative 1, or 
x is between. Between lang tayo kasi hanggang dito lang tayo from 1 to 4. Take note of that. Ha? Okay, x is between 1 to 4. Oh, ayan. 1 to 4. And that's it. No? Medyo mahirap ng konti, ano? Pero, hindi yan mahirap. Okay? Done. Okay, as promised, ito na yung shortcut ni Lolo in solving quadratic inequalities, no? So, we have two cases. Case 1, when ax squared plus bx plus c is equal or less than 0 and a is greater than 0, meaning the parabola opens upward, the solution set is the middle of the interval, yung nasa gitna, ano? Now, when a is less than 0 or the parabola opens downward, the extremes of the interval ang ating solution set. Okay, that's for case 1. Now, for case 2, kapag naman equal or greater than 0 and a is positive, meaning the parabola opens upward, the solution set are the extremes of the interval, yung nasa dalawang gilid, no? And when a is less than 0, the middle of the interval is the solution set. Okay? Now, of course, this will only apply kapag meron tayong x-intercepts, no? Meaning, yung parabola nyo na i-intersect si x-axis. Kasi kung hindi, for example, ang parabola is uh, above the x-axis at opens upward siya, obviously, wala siyang intercepts. And therefore, yung f of x natin is always greater than 0. No? Similarly, kapag naman below the x-axis ang parabola natin and it opens downward, obviously, wala na naman x intercepts yun, right? And therefore, your f of x is always less than 0. Okay? So, yan ang sikreto ni... Lolo, ng alamat ni Lolo. Oh, improving, di ba? Dati, paper lang, saka pen. Ngayon, sketchpad na. At saka permanent marker. No? Oh, nag-request na si Lolo. Mag-subscribe naman daw kayo. Para makabili daw siya ng whiteboard na sinlaki ng sini. Di ba? Okay, na <laughs> See you on my next videos. Bye!